Wieder da. This is exactly how it looks after you hit your opponents with your insane sticky bomb. If they still walk, of course. And yes, hello and welcome to another Division video. In this video I will present you a really fun build to use. Yeah, I can promise you, you will die very often as well. But for me personally, it's really a, just such a fun build to use in PvP. And I'll present you the setup. I was using this the last couple days and weeks almost I enjoyed it that much and yes it's a sticky bomb build probably you will be a little bit surprised about the setup but yeah as you saw at the beginning I did really a lot of tests with my friend old dirty Chris and tested damage on him and this is really the hardest hitting setup you can have for a sticky bomb build and you have other benefits as well but for the moment let's get right into the build as you see here, it's based on three-piece Banji and two-piece Tactician with an Angel Bike backpack. And the reason for this, I will make it a little bit shorter than usually, because yeah, the stats they're almost always the same ones. So, but the thing that matters here is the four-piece bonus of Banji. And yes, this one applies to your sticky bomb as well. So not the damage to target out of cover. This doesn't apply to your sticky bomb, but the four piece bonus does. So it's really a lot, especially in the dark zone where you get 20% more or after you got killed, you see there, you get a lot of damage, 20% uh, more damage to your opponents. They are rogue. So it's really a good rogue hunting build as well. And this is the main reason for the setup. So it hits harder than a classic tactician build. And yes, the two-piece tactician, of course, for the increased skill haste, it's very important as well. And the increased skill power too. So this is a really good benefit as well. And yes, you could run this in a really a lot of setups. You can run it with Ninja Bike, uh, with an inventive backpack. You could run it with a Barrett's chest, but it's just more complicated to use. Inventive, you have to check that you're always on full health. And with Barrett's, you have to check what skills you use first to have to increase damage and a lot of other things. So this is really the most hard hitting and user friendliest build I figured out so far. And let's go quickly to the stats. So the chess piece, and of course it doesn't matter which three pieces are Banshee and which two are Tactician. So just to use the best ones you have. To the stats, just quickly. So 9% skill haste, health and ammo capacity on this one. And the mods, all the mods are skill power with electronics. Then the mask I use here on this build is skill power and burn resistance. The knee pads are skill power shock and disrupt resistance disrupt is pretty good but i would prefer to have bleed there instead of shock and of course instead of damage to leads because it's mainly a pvp build and not pv and their shock would be pretty good or burn resistance as well so just three resistances and of course the main threat for this build is Predmark. it's the only gear set in my opinion that's still op and it needs to be nerfed a little bit in my opinion after striker this is a really fun patch in my opinion for pvp it's really balanced you see a lot of builds that are used at the moment alpha bridge banji anything yeah except striker not that much anymore but i think the change was pretty good and of course the prototype performance mod is sticky bomb damage mod all over the board here the backpack is nothing surprisingly here, skill power and demo capacity. You could run it because you don't use the weapon that often, of course. You could have, instead of ammo capacity, burn resistance as well, or bleed resistance. Would be pretty good here too. 
then the gloves I use on this build is crit chance, kill haste and SMG damage. Yeah, you could use the, the, the weapon damage you use mainly with this build, so is, if it's an AR then use AR damage. For this one here actually I would prefer to have uh, crit damage instead of chance, because with an SMG you have already enough crit chance. The last final piece, Banshee, nothing surprisingly here, with skill haste and of course again sticky bomb damage mod. So the weapon I tested out as well and yet the, the usually in PvE you have increased damage if you use um, destructive, so enemy armor damage. I tested it out in, PV, uh, in PvP as well with my body but actually the damage is not increased so it seems that enemy armor damage doesn't apply too much in PvP. So it really doesn't matter what kind of weapon you use with this build. You can use an LMG, I have one as well with the same talents. So the thing that really matters with this build is the talents. And I'll show you my preferred setup here on this one. So as you saw before I have uh, SMG damage on my gloves, so this is my preferred weapon I use in PvP. It doesn't matter in skirmish, last stand or in the dark zone. And the talents are always the same, competent and talented. And on the SMG, the house, it's the hardest hitting one of course, card counter. 15.6, yeah, it's not a high damage build as you see, at least not with your weapon. But 15.6 you can deal a lot of damage and especially if you hit them first with your sticky bomb. So this is mainly enough to finish them off. This is the first weapon I use and the second one as you see here is the same talents except the third one of the course and the third one is intense. Yeah, you can just have intense on an assault rifle and that's why I prefer to have an assault rifle on this build as well. And this is really an annoying build as well because of this talent too. Yeah, intense, I think burn. The, the status effect of burning is the most annoying one because you can't do anything. You can't shoot, you can't run, you can't do anything. You have to pop a mat kit that you're able to run anymore, except the ones that use a Pharos, but let's be honest, that are probably 1% of all. And yeah, it's really an annoying status effect. And 25%, it's quite often. So just shoot, reload, shoot, reload to apply the status effect as much as possible. And yeah, you're pretty weak, as you see, the toughness is not too high. And this is a good thing as well. So you sh you can get some time to defend yourself, to run away, to uh, that you get your sticky back from cooldown, everything else. So this is a really awesome talent, in my opinion. I don't go with the weapon mods, they're pretty obvious. <coughs> Just whatever, use whatever you use on your other builds as well. So nothing special here. That's already, already it about the weapon and the... The, 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 the gear set itself. Let's go to the abilities and yeah of course you have to use the sticky bomb and this is a base damage of 1.27 million damage with the Banshee setup and trust me it's enough. Although you have higher stats with Tactician the damage to the targets is not higher, higher trust me. So the highest damage you can get with the uh, this setup here is about 285k 86k on the body and it's enough to one-shot some players, it's enough to one-shot some shields. As you saw at the beginning, yeah, you can one-shot the shields sometimes, so they don't have any shield anymore. And then they are pretty weak, the D3 players. Not all, of course, it depends on the setup. And the second skill I use with this build is the overheal. And you see it's really a huge amount of self heal you get on this one, over 350,000. And yeah, without anything, any health you get an overheal so this is pretty insane so your survivability is pretty high i would say with this build although your toughness is pretty low i'll demonstrate it to you a little bit later and yeah that's why the survival is not too low because you get it back all 20 seconds and the sticky bump all tw 20 seconds as well so you just have to survive for about 20 seconds and then you can use it again and of course with your other talent the one here strike back you get it even faster if you're in low health and the other talents I'm using on this one here is adrenaline especially because of the prep arc users so you have a little bit time to run away from them seven seconds then the second one one of the most important ones as well is death by proxy to increase the damage or your skill power and this is really a lot so 20% for 30 seconds that's quite a long time and you saw the cooldown so 20 sec uh, 20 seconds cooldown 
you can use it almost twice so this is really insane and of course this one here chain reaction so if you hit more than one target with your sticky the damage is increased by 20 percent of the blast that's really insane as well and you saw at the beginning i just used it or tested it out with one agent with my body and what with more so it's even more if you can hit more than three and i guess you saw it right at the beginning with the three shield guys what can happen if you use this right so this is the preferred setup i have on this build with the talents and then as i said just quickly to demonstrate the heal you get oh probably i should i should quickly change from my recovery to another one that it doesn't proc accidentally so this is one come on i need you back and yeah of course you use the grenades pretty often as well okay that was a little bit too much actually <laughs> oh gosh this is quite stupid okay i think i let it be you will see it in the gameplay at the end how how really powerful the heal is and then just quickly back to the overview of my character <laughs> you see that wasn't planned and i don't have any scripts for my videos uh, ac unfortunately so this is for my soul rifle it's not that important but just change to my main warrant house that you see the right stats so almost 40 percent crit chance for 85 so it's not that high as you see and then the important ones is this one here skill power skill haste of course maxed out as much as you can toughness 320 and as you see the heal was over 350 so that's really insane eh, i mean this one here of course health 215 and 350 so you get a full overheal although you don't have any health anymore so this is really insane like a second recovery link i would say so that's really a lot okie doke this is already it for this video i do really hope you enjoyed this video if so then please don't forget to give this video a like make a snapshot for yourself if you need the stats from the build have fun trying this out in skirmish or last stand of course just quickly if you do go to skirmish or last stand you have to change one mod because of the normalization of the gear sets so just swap one mod of this build from electronics to firearms and the skills are uh, the talents and weapons are still working so this is the most important thing so have fun with this build don't forget to give this video a like leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and if you have other questions then just message me i will respond to it anyway see you in the next one have fun thanks a lot for watching and bye bye take care get out there
Rogue agents just grabbed the lead. to go. Five minutes and you've got this. You're kicking rogue ass. been defeated. Additional hostiles incoming. <laughs> <laughs> 